Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at AMC Entertainment. Took a simple AMC. Right now we are at 44.42 for the current market price. We are down 3.5% for the day. So you can see going off of yesterday's momentum, we are going down in price right now. However, there is nothing to be worrying about. In this video, we're gonna be talking about what could potentially set off the MOAS. You know, there are possibilities that could trigger the MOAS that apes could potentially do. We're also going to be looking at the short data and really discuss about it. And we're also going to talk about why you shouldn't worry about the price drop. Now, before we start, I do want to say I'm not a financial advisor, so do take my opinions with a grain of salt. Also, if you found the video useful or enjoyed it, feel free to click that like button down below. Comment down below what you guys think about AMC and comment down below what you want to see next. And for that, let's get straight into the video. Firstly, we're looking at AMC at 44.37, so right now we're still going down. And this is for the apes that are scared out there. You know, right now, you shouldn't be worrying. Price dropping in AMC is completely normal. We've seen plenty of times where price drop. Now, I've seen a lot of negativity that's been thrown around right now because the fat AMC is dropping. And this happens all the time. And, you know, at, at some point, you just think that these are really just bots. These are bots hired and created by hedge funds to really spread fear because, in a way, I see that some people may be getting convinced. But, you know, when AMC was down here all the way at the $33 mark, we saw... You know, everyone was saying that this was the end of AMC, especially in this day on the 4th of August. We saw everyone said it was the end of AMC. AMC was going to go down to $3. We obviously didn't. Then this particular day on the 10th of August, again, where we had news of AMC going to $3. But as soon as we go up, obviously everyone was happy. And again, you know, just like how we get stocks going up, we also likely to get stocks going down. At the end of the day, what matters is that it doesn't go further down than we went up because that is the pattern we're looking for. And, you know, everyone is always just kind of only want to see stock going up, which is very bad for anything because that's not the right way to view stocks. It is a natural movement of going up and down. But as long as in this case, the, as long as the upward movement is like this and the downward movement doesn't go below the output, the start of the uptrend, if it, if it just closes, you know, goes down to maybe, say, the 50 MA, then we could, you know, then that's all good. And we're looking at a bounce back and there is nothing to worry about. And the 50 MA is only around the 39.65. So it may not even, to, in fact, go below the $40 marks. And so that is really nothing to be worrying about. But before going further into the technical analysis, I do want to look at some of the short data first. Firstly, we have 3.7 million shares available to borrow. So that is a lot. You know, you can really see that right now they're doing anything they can to short against us. And so this means that they have a lot of firing power. This means that obviously they have a lot of bullet to use against us. So that is one thing we need to be aware of. You know, that is one thing that uh, we should really be watching out for. We only have 88,848 now calls um, in the money. And so that's a big decrease in terms of what we've seen previously, where we're looking at, you know, 130, 140 something thousand calls in the money and so there's a big difference right now but again you know it was only normal for a lot of calls to be, you know the price to be shorter right now because we all on we all knew that if there was if we went to 55 dollar mark the amount of calls that would be in the money would have caused a really big gamma squeeze that obviously is damaging to the hedge funds and so that's why we saw the price going down and i kind of want to you know relate that with another week had we seen had the options been, you know, if the options activity for this week were something for, you know, particularly this week, if these were the numbers this week, I feel like we definitely would have seen or at least have a high chance of reaching that $55 mark because not as much options is there. So obviously, even if we go to $55 mark, some options will be in the money, but it's really not that much. You know, going to $55 um, on this week only looks like the same amount of calls that can go into money if we were to go to $50 mark on this week. And so there is a big difference in the calls that was going into the money. And so that's one other reason why we were getting attacked so heavily. So seeing the price drop is very normal. Obviously, they're trying to do anything that is very, uh, you know, that is putting them into a disadvantage. And that's why the price is dropping. Looking down here, if you look at the short percentage for the 15th, we're looking at 60%. And for the 16th, we're looking at 54.4%. With respect to double percentage of 66.3 and 65%. So still a lot of double percentage, but, you know, we still really need to fix that out. But if we can sort this out, we can obviously get another move on. Now, let's look at some other data. Looking at the short interest data for AMC, we are looking at 95.75 million shares. We're looking at 18.73 
million, uh, it's 18.73% for short interest. And we're looking at utilization rate at 88.13. And so right now the numbers have decreased a bit, but nothing to be worrying about, you know, right now there's just, there's more share to, to borrow. So this is something, you know, that we should be expecting. Again, like I said, guys, this week was a massive week because this week had a lot of options that is there. But still, today this video will be uploaded very soon. And one thing I do want to talk about is the potential trigger effect that we could set off. So we still have to the end of the day to obviously for the market to end. And if we can get this momentum going on now, right now the volume is very low and we are seeing the kind of the price of AMC going down. What do I want to see right now? Well, even if we don't set the trigger off, we, I still want to see kind of we have a green day today. For those of you who have been watching this update uh, daily, you know, uh, quite regularly, you understand that for the last five Fridays in a row, we ended AMC in green. And that's very important because that obviously shows that people are optimistic for AMC. So that's very important in the fact that, you know, we need to understand what ending on the green on a Friday means. Well, ending on a Friday obviously means that more people are optimistic and more people are willing to kind of um, hold over the weekend and the momentum for the next week, the next trading week, obviously be very strong. You know, we already knew that this week was going to be a difficult week going from this Friday. So this Friday, we were looking at the percentage. For those of you who were watching the video, you'll know that in that particular Friday, the shares available to borrow was different from any other day. Normally, going onto that Friday, going over the weekend, we'll see that people will stop their short positions, their short-term short positions, they will cover those and really let the weekend just be free of short positions or at least the small amounts, you know, the short positions that have been done, that have been, you know, ordered recently. And that's because people, the short sellers aren't positive, aren't co as confident as the apes, as the investors over the weekend. But this Friday, for the last Friday, we saw only 50,000 to 100,000 shares available to over available to borrow over the weekend. And so that obviously meant that a lot of people were, you know, the short sellers knew what they were going into this week. They didn't want to give the buyers any sort of advantage going into the next week. That's how I knew this week was going to be very difficult. And, you know, considering the fact that we've won the last five weeks, the last five Fridays, it is okay to lose one week. So there is really nothing to be worrying about. You know, they can afford to do this at this current price now, but you guys got to understand how much money they've spent in order to create this movement, you know, from, Monday to now, we've seen a drop of 14%, but the money it costs for them to do this is obviously you know, a lot. They have to spend a lot of money every day to borrow these positions, to short these positions. And so, you know, right now they are spending a lot of money and they can only do this for kind of the crucial week, which again is this week. Now, normally they wouldn't do it in kind of a normal week. So if we could register the five weeks prior as normal weeks. That's obviously because we didn't have as much options available to borrow, but you know, right now, what we are looking at is the fact that people, you know, is using a lot of money, but they won't do this on a normal week. And in these normal weeks are the, are the days where we really need to strengthen ourselves. And so that's why, you know, for those of you who are worried right now, please don't worry. You know, it's perfectly normal for this to happen. What you got to understand is that we got to use the normal weeks to really set the price, to get for structure, to set a foundation. You know, maybe they will short again, you know, they will use this tactic again in three weeks time. But what we got to make sure is that during these three weeks, we need to set the price now maybe at $60 so that even if we were to see the price drop, there is nothing to be worrying about. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to press that like and subscribe button down below. Comment down below what you guys think about AMC and comment down below what you want to see next. On with that, enjoy your day.